So, I have a question for you. What's going on inside that mind of yours? Are you nice to yourself or are you mean? Are you really hard on yourself? Is there a voice in there that's constantly telling you that you need to do better, you're not doing enough, you shouldn't have eaten this, you shouldn't have drank that? Maybe you get a little frustrated or irritated or angry and when you let it out, then all of a sudden you spend a lot of time beating yourself up for it. I know one time I honked my horn at somebody and it took me about a good two hours to get over my embarrassment and frustration with myself for losing my cool. Now, I know that sounds probably pretty silly, but I'm here to talk to you today about how to be nicer to yourself and why it's incredibly important, incredibly important that you do. This is Zen in a Moment, the podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous woman you know you can be. I have proven tips and strategies that will move you from stressed out to in the flow. And by flow, I'm meaning feeling light, open, and wise. I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, and I'm a stress as guidance expert. I mean, let's face it. I I think that we spend quite a bit of our time arguing with ourselves, exhausting ourselves mentally, uh, going back and forth between like what we should do and what we shouldn't do, uh, beating ourselves up, comparing ourselves to other This woman's voice inside our head, whoever she is, she's not very nice, and she creates a lot of suffering and stress. In fact, the one inside my head, I call her Critical Carrie. She's my inner critic, and most of the time, to be quite honest with you, what she has to say is not true. I use a tool called the Internal Guidance System. If you have not checked it out or you got this podcast forwarded on to you, please go feel your own Internal Guidance System for yourself at zeninamoment.com. I have a video there that will walk you through this thing that you were born with that is leading you away from suffering and stress and anxiety and actually opening up the door to you being a calm, collected, happy person. So go check it out if you haven't. The reason why I bring this up is because this tool is so incredibly important for learning how to deal with your inner critic. See, if you have stress and an anxiety, as these thoughts are pouring through your head, you feel the sick feeling in the pit of your stomach, or maybe a tightening in your chest, a lump in your throat, it creates this anxiety, this upset. Maybe it's that you didn't do good enough at work today, or that you're behind on a project, and it's and that little, my critical carry is rant, 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 rant. You didn't get back to somebody in time. You haven't been able to follow through on something. Maybe it's as simple as you, you know, giving your kids some sort of pre-made lunch instead of having a chance to pay, you know, make the lunch yourself and you're embarrassed and upset that you don't have time to do that. Maybe it's the pile of laundry in your room that's been there for two months while you're trying to get everything else done around the house. Every time you walk by it, it's like, you should have that done by now. This critical voice we get from our parents and from the way we were raised and from our experience around us of what's good and bad, what makes us a righteous person or a non-righteous person. But the problem is, it's a lie. The voice inside our heads is often telling us stuff that is not true about us. It's a habitual software. Now, I want to say that in working with thousands of individuals and using their internal guidance system... People are pretty attached to this critical voice. There's a couple of responses, and maybe you have one of these yourself. One is when I go to work with somebody who has this critical voice, is they feel like if they give up the critical voice, they won't be as high of an achiever as they have been. Like they're going to get slack and lazy if they tell this voice where to go. Other people feel like that voice is uh, comforting in some ways because at least they're, they're paying attention to what's really happening in their life. They're noticing all the things that that they need to improve on. Still others, they hide from it. They will do some sort of drug, whether it be food, alcohol, or over-exercising, or drama, or Facebook. There's some way in which they will distract themselves from that voice to make them still feel better. Other people get highly critical themselves. They turn that inner voice into an external experience at other people. What I'm here to tell you is, is that There is such a thing called closing. When you feel that lump in your throat, tightness in your chest, or sick feeling in in your stomach area where your ribs come together, that means that what you're thinking is not true, including about yourself. When you walk by that pile of laundry and you think, God, what am I ever going to get all the laundry put away? I can't believe I'm such a loser. I can't get this done. And you feel that sick feeling, that means that that's not true. You're not a loser. That that laundry there is perfectly fine. There's a way in which, and when you say that, you say, that's not true. It's fine for that laundry to be there for now. You will feel a lightening if it's true. 
you will feel a dissipation of the energy in the solar plex area. The lump in the throat will begin to go away. If you hear inside your head something like, well, that was stupid. I can't believe I just said that in the middle of a business meeting, or I looked completely foolish, and you feel that shame feeling and that crushing heaviness in your chest, that means what you were thinking is not true. You did not sound stupid. You did not make a fool of yourself. There's all kinds of ways that we're really, really hard on ourselves. But that voice is not the real you. It's a program. And yes, its job is to try to make you a better person. But some of the things that it's suggesting that are, that are have you be not perfect right now are absolutely not true. So what I need you to do is I want you to get to know your voice. I'd like for you to get to know and name her. Could be Critical Carrie, Critical Kathy, you know, patronizing Patric Patricia, bitchy Betty, whatever you want. You know what that voice is, that voice that's creating suffering and have you not love yourself fully, have you not be there for yourself fully. And when she shows up, if you feel an opening, like I really need to get on it, I really need to make my kids a better lunch, and you feel like a light feeling, then you need to make your kids another lunch. And that bitchy Betty is helping you out for the day in that moment. But if not, if you're throwing in that snack pack because your kids love it, you know they're going to eat it, and it's about all the time you have, and bitchy Betty shows up and says, oh God, you can't even make your kids lunch these kids, they need better nutrition than that. If you feel a tight anxiety feeling inside, that means what she's telling you is a lie. It's not the truth. Your kids are just fine. And by following that, by following and walking away from and saying to yourself, hey, this isn't true. It's okay for them to have this lunch. You're going to feel an ease. When that ease comes, it's going to help you have greater health, more energy, and to love yourself more. And when you love yourself more, you have more love for everybody around you. That's what's important. Harmony and health is what you create around you. When you're centered, when you're in the flow, feeling light, opened, and wise, the people around you are able to be centered and in the flow themselves much more easily. That's where you become a good role model for the people around you, for your children. That's where you become the woman that you want to be in the relationships that you're in. All right. So check out zeninamoment.com. I have tons of resources there for you to be able to go ahead and go deeper in learning to use your internal guidance system. It is one of the surefire permanent ways to relieve stress, worry, fear, anxiety, frustration, overwhelm, and irritation, to kick them out of your life, and to be able to do it on a moment-to-moment -moment basis so that you have permanent, permanent happiness and flow. My name is Zen Cryer DeBrook. I'm super happy to have you here. I hope you have a fantastic week. And in the meantime, I am sending you love and blessings. <laughs>